hello friends so as we have discussed in previous lecture the rankins method or instrumental method so in this lecture we are going to study the numerical or how to solve the numerical by rankins method i'm going to show you how to calculate all the basic steps okay so first uh, i'll read the read out the numerical two tangent intersect at a chain edge 1 2 5 0 1250 meters two tangents the angle of intersection is 150 degree calculate all the necessary data for setting out a, a curve so for setting out a curve of radius 250 meter by deflection angle method or instrumental method or rankins method the peg interval may be taken as a 20 meter prepare a setting up table the least count of the vernier is 20 second this thing is very important for pre preparing the table calculate all the necessary data for field checking so as i mentioned in previous lecture we have to follow the steps so first step is given data i have written all the given data radius deflection angle so in this numerical they have given the deflection angle not the interior angle so deflection angle we can calculate by subtracting it from 180 change of intersection point is 1250 meter peg interval 20 meter least count of vernier is 20 second so first bit is tangent length we can easily calculate it r tan 5 by 2 we have radius we have tan we have phi and the answer is 67.0 meter next is curve length same formula pi r phi upon 180 substitute the values you'll get the answer change of t1 so this is the formula for change of t1 i've already mentioned in the previous video next is change of second point so change of second change point is i've written over here now the very important bit is length of initial support i found uh, that very students uh, lots of students are not getting that bit so i'm going to explain the how to calculate or how to find out the length of initial support so there is basic formula for finding out the initial support length so it is round up the formula for finding out the length of initial support is write it down students uh, the formula is round up change of t1 so here the change of t1 is 1183 so 1183 So if we are going to round it up, or if if I have to make it round up, then it will become one one nine zero, the round up figure. So one one eight three becomes one one nine zero. So the formula is round up change of t one minus exact change of t one. The exact number of change, exact number of change of t one is one one eight three. So if I substitute the, uh, if I do the subtraction operation, the answer becomes seven. Uh, I repeat once again the formula. Round up change of t1. Round up means the value is 1183. So if I do the round up, then it will become 1190. So what will be the round up uh, of t2? So it will become 1120 because the initial value is 13. Sorry, uh, the exact values of value of change of t2 is 1313.89. So if I have to make it round up, then it will become 1320. I have just given the example. Okay. So the length of initial support is 1190 minus 1183. Again, ex, uh, round up change of T1 minus exact change of T1. So number of full counts. So they have already mentioned the peg interval is 20 meter. What you have to do? We just have to divide the curve length by number uh, by the sorry by the peg interval. We have to divide the curve length by peg interval, and whatever the number comes, we have to round down it. So if, uh, so if the number comes 6.13, 6.5, so we don't have to go for higher side. We have to take the lower side. So I've taken it as a six. So next thing is chain is covered. So it is uh, again round up chain of T1 plus number of full chord into peg interval. Chain is covered. Again I'm repeating round up chain of T1 plus number of full chords into length of peg interval. Okay, and next bit is length of final sub chord. So length of final sub chord is again change of sorry T two minus change covered change of T two minus total change covered so it becomes three point eight nine meter. So for the deflection angle formula, I have already calculated all the necessary data. So formula is uh, formula for deflection angle is delta is equals to one seven one eight point nine into L divided by radius so here is our l1 radius is 250 and the answer becomes 0 uh, 0 degree 48 minute 8 second again i have calculated all the necessary angles sorry 
so the def uh, sorry this uh, this deflection angle was for initial chord this deflection angle is for full chord and this deflection angle is for final sub chord and arithmetic check is we have to add all the deflection angles so all the deflection angle means initial ang initial deflection angle final deflection angle and number of full chord into the deflection angle of full chord so it becomes 50 degree and it should definitely is equals to 5 divided by 2 and that that exactly came here 15 degrees okay so delta n becomes for delta n came 14 degree 15 minute 59 second which is approximately equals to 15 degree so the check is applied i'll skip this part because this part is very important for me so setting out table uh, in this setting out table this is very important so these uh, I'll, I'll explain the columns first column is point second column is chain edge then chord length deflection angle total deflection angle this is very important column uh, we have to use this column on field only and again uh, this column also and again remark column so points are already given t1 is initial uh, tangent point t2 final tangent point and these are the points of the curve we just have to add the chain edge into and we will get the, this column again the chord length we have already calculated again uh, now deflection angle so this deflection angle is for l1 this deflection angle for full chord and this this is deflection angle for final sub chord now what is total deflection angle as i've already mentioned in presentation so this is delta 1 for delta 2 we have to add these two angles we will get delta 2 for delta 3 we have to all the three uh, we have to add all the three angles all three initial angles for delta 4 we have to add these four angles and so on we have to for final angle we have to add all the angles we will get the final angle okay now again very important column angle to be set uh, as i have uh, mentioned earlier the least count of thread light plays very important role in this column so my thread light having 20 seconds least count then i cannot set the angle of 8 seconds so what i have to do i have to adjust it so the given angle is 0 degree 48 minute so i have to make it i have to uh, round down that 8 second and the final angle becomes 0 degree 48 minute 0 second i have to neglect that 8 because our least count of uh, our least count of thread light is 20 seconds same with this uh, second angle is 3 degree 5 minute 39 second so I have to uh, I'll convert the 39 second into 40 second again here 523 10 I'll convert that 10 into 0 here 740 41 I'll convert that 41 into 40 uh, here is 9 uh, 58 uh, 12 I've converted uh, in this uh, numerical they've converted it into 0 but I can convert it into 20 also again this uh, 43 becomes 40 14 becomes 20 and final angle uh, becomes 15 degrees 0 minute and 0 second so this was the numerical solving procedure for rankings method thank you and if having if anybody having any question then just post it or message me i'll solve their doubts in our next video thank you